my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm gonna walk you through what I eat in a day on a nutrition plan. So let me just give you the rundown of why I'm doing this plan and what it helps with. So I'm personally doing this plan to lower my blood pressure. I've been having some very extremely high blood pressure medicine and this diet has drastically changed it. It is now almost normal. So we were going from 180s to 115 to 115 over like 70s or 80s, 120 over 80s. So it has drastically changed. So a little things that I'm doing different. Now the plan does not call for low sodium, but since I'm having high blood pressure, I try to get everything less sodium or lower sodium. So um, what this plan also helps, it obviously helps you lose weight, helps you regulate your blood sugar, and helps you get your blood pressure down. So, basically what I do is I eat every three hours. I eat six times a day. So I'll eat breakfast. So we eat breakfast at 7.30. Three hours later, I'm going to eat a snack. So at 10.30, I'll have a snack. Three hours later, I eat lunch, then a snack, then dinner, then a snack. So, it is very portion controlled, measuring. So you'll see me measuring things today. You'll see me weighing things. You'll see me... Um, adjusting some things because like this morning for breakfast it was a mushroom and ham omelet. I could not find lower sodium ham so I just used turkey bacon. It's fine. You can substitute your proteins. And then you can substitute your vegetables and your fruit but they cannot be eliminated. So basically you have a protein and a fruit with every meal plus a veggie with lunch and dinner. I'm trying to think. So that's why I switched the peppers this morning instead of mushrooms because my mushrooms are bad. Things like that happen. It's life. It's gonna be not perfect. Um, sometimes I'm a little early with my, my late night snack because I wanna go to bed. Because you have to eat 30 minutes after you rise, 30 minutes before you go to bed. All right guys, that's just a little bit about my what I eat in a day and I will see you in the next clip and let's go eat some yummy healthy food. My breakfast is supposed to be a ham and mushroom omelet, but with this plan that I follow, you can switch your vegetables or your protein. Um, I could not find any low sodium ham, so I have low sodium turkey bacon, and then I have mushrooms instead of the, I mean I have peppers instead of the mushrooms. So there's my breakfast. It's a snowy, snowy day. So we're going to drink our mug, drink our coffee, and just enjoy today. Alright, 
Also just finished my first 30 ounce waters. Some tips on how to get your water intake in. I drink about 110 ounces a day. Um, you're supposed to drink half your body weight, so you can do that calculation. Thought there was something on my shirt. It's just a stain. So what I do is I get a cute cup. This is just a cute cup. And then there's an app. I don't, I'm not sure if Android has it, but I know Apple has it. It is called Plant Nanny. I will show you what I do. Let me screen record it. So you go to Plant Nanny. And you pretty much grow plants by how much water you drink. So that is not sponsored. I have the free version of it, guys. So again, I just drank 30 ounces. And I leveled up. Okay, and just like that, it's three hours later and it's snack time. So for snack today is string cheese and cherries. So we're gonna go and do string cheese and cherries. So I'm gonna grab them out of the fridge and then we're gonna measure them out. Okay, it calls for a half a cup of cherries. So. just going to use the rest of them so there's my cherries a half a cup I'm going to rinse them off and have them with the string cheese and there is my first snack of the day all right and just like that, it is lunchtime. So today is grilled chicken salad. So I'm gonna measure three ounces of chicken, two and a half cups of salad, two tablespoons of dressings, and then I get some applesauce. chicken salad, an applesauce for lunch, and a whole glass of water. I'm going to go eat that on the couch while watching the show. I'll see you at snack time. All right, I'm currently getting ready for our date night, so we are going to throw pottery tonight, but it is a snack time, so I'm going to just munch on a protein bar. So this is just a good little snack. You can have one protein bar a day and one protein shake a day. I try to do just one or the other, so we're going to do a protein bar today while I go finish getting ready, and then we'll be back as soon as I'm done getting ready to prep dinner. All right, guys, and just like that, it's time for me to start prepping dinner. Now, I know I just had my snack. It is only 5.13, but me and Jacob are going on our Valentine's Day date tonight on Saturday after Valentine's Day. So he's going to get home and be really hungry, so I'm going to fix his up, and then depending on what time he gets home, if I'm hungry... If I'll eat or if I'll wait till after the pottery to eat because I'm not due to 8 40 because I ate at 4 40 4 40 5 40 I'm doing at 7 40 it ends at 8 so if I'm a little over that's fine so we're gonna go ahead and fix dinner and then I'll make up my mind as we go along
I'm gonna let that cook and I'm gonna go and start the green beans in the marinara. While that is cooking, I wanted to go ahead and give you a couple tips to get started. Sorry, I got half right in there. I want to give you a couple tips to get started or just some things that have helped me. Food scale. This, I just got this one, I'm pretty sure, off Amazon. Walmart has them. I can link a couple down below if you would like. That might help. So links will be in the description. Um, measuring cups. The plastic ones work. I'm transitioning to wood and the still slowly just because it's more healthy for us and um, my biggest tip is just to start it's just start I mean it is not that hard if you don't have the money just start watching what you're eating like just maybe lower the sodium intake buy lean buy turkey and chicken lots of fruits and vegetables um, if you don't have the money to go to a nutrition because it can be a little pricey but to me my health is worth the price so that's why I started. Um, I want to be along here for longer than 28. So it's never too late to start either. So go ahead and start it. Um, another tip is to get a happy planner meal planner. So when I come back from the nutritionist, I usually go on Thursdays and I shop on Mondays or I shop on Sundays. So I'll sit down like Saturday morning and plan out my weeks. My week, I do one week at a time. I plan one week grocery shop and then I meal prep every three days. Because I found meal prepping every week was too much because I was wasting it too much. So I do the first two days and then I meal prep. Then I do the next two days and I meal prep. And my meal prepping, I mean gathering all the ingredients. As you saw, I had the chicken already pre-cooked. I do that so I don't have to do that in the morning before work. Again, plan makes your life easier. Don't make it harder. Um, what else? So get the planner, write it down. So what I do is I take my little meal plan. So this is what it comes in. It comes with like seven days. I go every two weeks. So I go in the first week, I write down breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As I'm writing it down, I take note of what I have and what I need to buy from the store. And that's what I do. So again, that's what I'm going to do probably tomorrow morning because we do not have any of the stuff for tomorrow's lunch. So we have to go to the store tomorrow morning to get stuff. I know, joy. But that's okay. We'll make it work. So again, tips are start small, start by gradually adding stuff, or just start together. Yes, it's going to be hard. It took me a month to get used to this. And the hardest thing for me is the no popcorn. I love popcorn. And it's because we have eight weeks of no carbs, and popcorn is considered a carb. But don't rush it. Like, don't force yourself. Like, oh, I can't have that. I can't have that. No. 
you're going to get it. Your body just needs to regulate. It's going to take about a month for you to see it. You'll, you'll lose it within a week. People will start seeing it too, and I said you'll start noticing it more. So, just a little couple tips. So let's get back to cooking dinner. Another tip I just thought of. The meal plans are scheduled for one person, so if you have a husband or children, you're gonna have to double or triple that recipe. So like it called for a half a cup of onions, I put a cup in, so I don't have to cook it twice, and then I just measure half. I hope that makes sense, and I hope that was a good tip for you. plate mine and I'm gonna put it in the microwave for when we get back but that's just so my husband can eat what he wants when he gets back so let's go ahead and plate mine I get asked all the time, is your husband doing the plan with you? He does a little bit. Um, he likes to add his own little touches, like he likes to have rice, which of course, rice is a carb. And I'm not really a fan of rice, so he has rice with lots of my meals. And then today, I'm gonna make him pasta. So I'm gonna make him a little bit of pasta. While I wait on him to come home, he's getting ready to come through the door. So I'm gonna start the pasta and start him a cup of coffee so he can get warmed up because he's been outside all day. So let's get his pasta rolling. All right. His pasta is done, his marinara is done, and his dinner is done, and his coffee is done. Now we're just waiting on him. So let's hope he gets home, because we need to leave in like 20 minutes. We are back from pottering and they gave us chocolate covered strawberries and some sparkling rosé. So I'm going to go ahead and treat myself to a little bit because that was a lot of fun. And we all deserve a little treat sometime. A well is my dinner which is warming up right now. Thank you for watching what I ate in the day. Again, it's okay to reward yourself. It is okay to start small. I will see you the next time.